Greetings, fellow explorers. Welcome back to Kabuma Travel, where we set sail on journeys to the most enchanting corners of our globe. Today, we're venturing into the heart of Canada, a land of breathtaking landscapes, diverse culture, and boundless adventures. But before we embark on our captivating countdown of the top 87 most intriguing facts about this vast and beautiful country, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button. And to ensure you're always in the loop with our mesmerizing adventures, click subscribe and ring that notification bell. Also, drop us a comment below with what you hate and love about Canada and suggestions for our next destination. Believe me, you won't want to miss a beat because the last fact will leave you absolutely astonished. Let's set off on this amazing journey through Canada. Number 87. Canada's Official Languages Canada has two official languages, English and French, reflecting the country's history as a ground of both British and French colonization. This bilingualism is enshrined in law and plays a crucial role in Canadian society, politics, and culture. Number 86. World's Longest Coastline Canada has the longest coastline in the world, stretching over 202,080 kilometers. This vast expanse touches three major oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic, making Canada a country with diverse marine ecosystems and beautiful coastal landscapes. Number 85. Invention of Basketball Basketball was invented by Canadian James Naismith in 1891. Originally designed as an indoor sport to keep athletes fit during winter, it has become one of the most popular sports globally. Number 84. Largest number of lakes Canada has more lakes than any other country, with over 2 million lakes covering approximately 7.6% of its landmass. This abundance of fresh water is a significant natural resource and contributes to Canada's unique geography. Number 83. The Northern Lights Canada is one of the best places in the world to view the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, especially from locations like Yukon, Nunavut, and the Northwest Territories. The spectacular natural light show is best viewed in the cold, clear nights of winter and early spring. Number 82. National Animal – The Beaver the beaver is Canada's national animal, recognized for its hard work and contribution to Canada's fur trade history, which played a crucial role in the exploration and development of the country. Number 81, the CN Tower. Once the world's tallest freestanding structure, the CN Tower in Toronto stands at a height of 553.33 meters. It's not only a major tourist attraction, but also a symbol of Canadian ingenuity and innovation. Number 80, Canadian cuisine, poutine. Poutine, a dish made of fries, cheese curds, and gravy, originated in Quebec in the 1950s. It has become a symbol of Canadian cuisine, enjoyed across the country and gaining popularity internationally. Number 79. Canada's Indigenous Peoples Canada recognizes three main groups of Indigenous peoples, First Nations, Inuit, and Metis, each with their unique cultures, languages, and histories. These communities are fundamental to Canada's national identity and cultural diversity. Number 78. Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP. The RCMP, also known as Mounties, are a symbol of Canada, known worldwide for their iconic red surge uniforms and wide-brimmed hats. They provide federal, provincial, and municipal policing across the country. Number 77. World's Second Largest Country. Canada is the world's second largest country by total area, covering approximately 9.98 million square kilometers. Despite its vast size, it has one of the lowest population densities globally, Number 76. National Park System Canada has an extensive national park system, with 48 national parks and park reserves that protect the natural beauty and ecological diversity of the country. Banff National Park in Alberta is the oldest national park, established in 1885. Number 75. Ice Hockey Ice hockey is considered Canada's national winter sport, with deep roots in Canadian culture and history. The National Hockey League, NHL, is the premier professional ice hockey league, featuring teams from both Canada and the United States. Number 74, maple syrup production. Canada, particularly Quebec, is the world's largest producer of maple syrup, accounting for over 70% of the global market. The maple leaf is not only a national symbol found on the flag, but also represents the importance of maple trees and their sap to Canadian culture. Number 73, the Underground Railroad. Canada was the terminus of the Underground Railroad, a network of secret routes and safe houses used by enslaved African Americans to escape into free states in Canada during the early to mid 19th century. This part of Canada's history highlights its role in promoting freedom and providing refuge to those fleeing injustice. Number 72. Multiculturalism. Canada officially adopted a policy of multiculturalism in 1971, 
promoting the idea that all citizens are equal and can maintain their identities, take pride in their ancestry, and have a sense of belonging. This policy reflects Canada's diverse population and the value it places on diversity. Number 71. Canada's Space Contributions Canada was the third country to design and build its own satellite, Alouette 1, launched in 1962. Canadian technology, particularly the Canadarm, has played a significant role in space exploration, including the NASA Space Shuttle Program and the International Space Station. Number 70. The Hudson's Bay Company Founded in 1670, the Hudson's Bay Company is the oldest incorporated joint stock merchandising company in the English-speaking world. It played a vital role in the exploration and development of Canada, particularly in the fur trade and the establishment of settlements. Number 69. Tim Hortons Tim Hortons, a beloved Canadian coffee and donut chain, was founded in 1964 by Canadian hockey player Tim Horton. It has become a cultural icon in Canada, representing Canadian friendliness and the country's love for coffee and donuts. Number 68. The War of 1812 The War of 1812 between Britain and the United States had significant battles taking place on Canadian soil, contributing to the development of Canada's national identity and its eventual confederation. This war showcased the resilience and determination of Canadians to defend their territory. Number 67. Canadian Film and Television Canada has a vibrant film and television industry, known for producing internationally acclaimed shows like Schitt's Creek and films that showcase Canadian talent, culture, and landscapes. The industry benefits from government support, festivals, and international partnerships. Number 66. Canadian Literature Canadian literature is rich and diverse, reflecting the country's multicultural makeup and landscapes. Prominent Canadian authors like Margaret Atwood and Alice Munro have received international acclaim, contributing significantly to the global literary scene. Number 65. Canada's Contributions to Science and Technology Canada has been at the forefront of several significant advancements in science and technology, including the discovery of insulin by Frederick Banting and Charles Best in 1921. Canadian innovations continue to impact fields such as medicine, telecommunications, and environmental science. Number 64. Famous Canadian Musicians Canada has produced many internationally renowned musicians and bands such as Leonard Cohen, Joni Mitchell, Celine Dion, and Drake. These artists have left an indelible mark on the music world, showcasing the depth and diversity of Canadian musical talent. Number 63. Canadian Art Canadian art, particularly the work of the Group of Seven, has been influential in depicting Canada's landscapes and national identity. Canadian artists continue to contribute to the global art scene, drawing inspiration from the country's diverse cultures and natural beauty. Number 62. Legalization of Same-Sex Marriage Canada became the fourth country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide in 2005. This landmark decision reflects Canada's commitment to equality, diversity, and human rights. Number 61. The Canadarm the Canadarm, a robotic arm developed by Canada, has been a critical tool for NASA's Space Shuttle Program and the International Space Station. It symbolizes Canada's significant contributions to space exploration and technology. Number 60. Unique Canadian Slang Canada has its unique slang, with words like toque, a knitted hat, loony, the Canadian dollar coin, and double-double, a coffee with two creams and two sugars, often referring to Tim Hortons. These terms reflect the quirks and idiosyncrasies of Canadian English. Number 59. The Calgary Stampede. Known as the greatest outdoor show on Earth, the Calgary Stampede is an annual rodeo, exhibition, and festival held every July in Calgary, Alberta. It celebrates Western heritage, cultures, and community spirit, drawing visitors from around the world. Number 58. The French influence in Quebec. Quebec's culture, laws, and lifestyle are deeply influenced by its French heritage. From the French language to cuisine, festivals, and legal system, Quebec maintains a distinct identity within Canada, celebrating its Francophone culture. Number 57. The Trans-Canada Highway The Trans-Canada Highway is one of the world's longest national highways, stretching over 7,821 kilometers from Victoria, British Columbia, to St. John S. Newfoundland and Labrador. This coast-to-coast -coast road showcases Canada's diverse landscapes and regions. Number 56. Canadian Wildlife Canada is home to a vast array of wildlife, including species unique to the country, such as the spirit bear, a white variant of the black bear, the majestic moose, and the elusive lynx. 
The country's extensive wilderness areas provide habitat for these and many other species, making it a hot spot for wildlife enthusiasts. Number 55, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is one of the most famous natural attractions in Canada, located on the border between Ontario and New York State. These massive waterfalls are a source of hydroelectric power and a symbol of the natural beauty and power of the Canadian landscape. Number 54, the Canadian Shield. The Canadian Shield is a vast geological shield covered by a thin layer of soil that arcs across northeastern and central Canada. It's rich in minerals and forms the ancient geological core of North America, shaping much of Canada's landscape and natural resources. Number 53, Canada's commitment to refugees. Canada has a long history of welcoming refugees and has been internationally recognized for its humanitarian efforts. The country offers resettlement programs and support for refugees from around the world, reflecting its values of compassion and openness. Number 52, unique Canadian laws. Canada has some unique laws, such as the prohibition of removing a bandage in public in Canada. These quirky laws often reflect historical contexts and local concerns, adding to the country's diverse legal landscape. Number 51, Canada's education system. Canada's education system is among the best in the world, with a strong emphasis on public education funded by the government. Canadian students consistently rank high in reading, mathematics, and science in international assessments. Number 50, Canada's healthcare system. Canada's healthcare system is publicly funded and provides access to universal healthcare for all Canadian citizens and permanent residents. It's based on the principle of providing care based on need rather than the ability to pay, reflecting Canada's commitment to equality and social welfare. Number 49, the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes, shared by Canada and the United States, are the largest group of freshwater lakes in the world by total area. They play a crucial role in providing water for drinking, transportation, industry, and recreation for millions of people. Number 48, Canada's role in peacekeeping. Canada has a long history of participating in international peacekeeping missions. Canadian Lester B. Pearson, who later became prime minister, is credited with the concept of peacekeeping during the Suez crisis in 1956, earning him the Nobel Peace Prize. Number 47, the Montreal Jazz Festival. The Montreal International Jazz Festival is the world's largest jazz festival, attracting artists and audiences from around the globe. This annual event showcases Canada's vibrant cultural scene and Montreal's status as a global city of music. Number 46, the polar bear capital of the world. Churchill, Manitoba is known as the polar bear capital of the world. This unique town offers visitors the chance to see polar bears in their natural habitat, highlighting Canada's commitment to wildlife conservation and sustainable tourism. Number 45, the Northern Lights. Canada is one of the best places in the world to view the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, especially in Northern territories like Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. These natural light displays in the sky are a breathtaking sight, attracting visitors from around the globe. Number 44, poutine. Poutine, a dish consisting of French fries topped with cheese curds and gravy, is a quintessentially Canadian food. Originating from Quebec, poutine has become a beloved comfort food across Canada, embodying the country's culinary creativity and diversity. Number 43, the CN Tower. Once the world's tallest freestanding structure, the CN Tower in Toronto is an iconic symbol of Canada. It attracts millions of visitors each year and offers breathtaking views of the city and Lake Ontario. Number 42, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP. The RCMP, known for their distinctive red surge uniforms, is a symbol of Canadian law enforcement and heritage. They play a critical role in maintaining peace and security across the country. Number 41, Canadian multiculturalism. Canada is known for its policy of multiculturalism, officially adopted in 1971. This policy promotes the celebration of diversity, encouraging Canadians from all backgrounds to preserve and share their cultural heritage. Number 40, the importance of hockey. Hockey is more than just a sport in Canada. It's a part of the national identity. The country has produced some of the greatest players in the history of the sport and continues to be a powerhouse in international competitions. Number 39, the maple leaf. The maple leaf is a symbol of Canada, prominently featured on the national flag. It represents the country's nature and beauty, and is a unifying symbol for Canadians of all backgrounds. Number 38, Canada's natural beauty. Canada's vast and diverse landscapes, from the Rocky Mountains to the Arctic tundra, offer breathtaking natural beauty. The country's national parks and wilderness areas are treasures for both Canadians and visitors, 
showcasing the country's commitment to conservation and outdoor adventure. Number 37, the Inuit and Indigenous Cultures. Canada's Indigenous peoples, including the Inuit, First Nations, and Metis, have a rich cultural heritage and history. The country is making efforts to reconcile with Indigenous communities and recognize their contributions to Canada's identity. Number 36, bilingualism. Canada's official bilingualism, with English and French as the official languages, reflects the country's colonial history and cultural diversity. This policy promotes inclusivity and allows Canadians to access government services in both languages. Number 35, the discovery of insulin. The discovery of insulin by Frederick Banting and Charles Best in 1921 at the University of Toronto is a landmark in medical history. This breakthrough has saved millions of lives worldwide and highlights Canada's contributions to medical science. Number 34, the Underground Railroad. Canada was the final destination for many enslaved African Americans seeking freedom via the Underground Railroad in the 19th century. This network of secret routes and safe houses is a testament to Canada's role in the fight against slavery and its commitment to freedom and human rights. Number 33, the National Anthem, O Canada. O Canada, the National Anthem, embodies the spirit and values of the Canadian people. Its lyrics reflect the country's pride, beauty, and commitment to freedom and peace. Number 32, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC. The CBC, Canada's national public broadcaster, plays a vital role in promoting Canadian culture, identity, and values. It provides Canadians with news, entertainment, and cultural programming that reflects the country's diversity. Number 31, the Terry Fox Run. The Terry Fox Run, inspired by Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope in 1980 to raise money for cancer research, has become an annual event across Canada and around the world. Terry Fox is a national hero symbolizing courage, determination, and the spirit of giving. Number 30, the importance of maple syrup. Maple syrup, produced from the sap of maple trees, is a symbol of Canadian cuisine and culture. Canada is the world's largest producer of maple syrup, representing a significant part of the country's agricultural heritage and economy. Number 29, Canada's role in world wars. Canada played significant roles in both World War I and World War II, contributing troops, resources, and strategic support. The country's involvement in these global conflicts helped shape its national identity and international reputation. Number 28, the right to vote for women. Canada granted women the right to vote in federal elections in 1918, a significant milestone in the country's history. This achievement reflects Canada's progressive values and its commitment to equality and democracy. Number 27, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, part of the Constitution Act of 1982, guarantees fundamental freedoms and rights to all Canadians. It is a cornerstone of Canadian democracy and legal system, ensuring equality, liberty, and justice. Number 26, the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains are a major mountain range stretching from the northernmost part of British Columbia, through Alberta, and into the United States. They are known for their stunning beauty, diverse ecosystems, and as a popular destination for outdoor activities like hiking, skiing, and sightseeing. Number 25, the influence of Indigenous peoples. Indigenous peoples have played a crucial role in shaping Canada's history and culture. Their traditions, languages, and stewardship of the land are integral to Canada's identity, and there is ongoing work to acknowledge and rectify past injustices. Number 24, the Canadian Pacific Railway. Completed in 1885, the Canadian Pacific Railway was a monumental engineering feat that connected the country from coast to coast. It facilitated the movement of people and goods across vast distances, contributing to Canada's development and unity. Number 23, the legalization of cannabis. Canada became the second country in the world to legalize cannabis for recreational use in 2018. This landmark decision reflects Canada's progressive approach to drug policy and its efforts to regulate and reduce the harms associated with cannabis use. Number 22, the Battle of Vimy Ridge. The Battle of Vimy Ridge in 1917 is considered a defining moment for Canada, where Canadian forces achieved a significant victory during World War I. This battle is often cited as a pivotal moment in the development of Canada's national consciousness. Number 21, the importance of immigration. Immigration has played a vital role in shaping Canada's society, economy, and culture. The country has a long history of welcoming immigrants from around the world, contributing to its diversity and growth. Number 20, Universal healthcare. 
Introduced in the 1960s, Canada's universal healthcare system ensures that all residents have access to necessary medical services without direct charges at the point of care. This system is a key aspect of Canada's social safety net and reflects its commitment to equality and care for all citizens. Number 19, the Group of Seven. The Group of Seven, a collective of Canadian painters in the early 20th century, played a significant role in developing a distinct Canadian art form. Their landscapes of the Canadian wilderness have become iconic representations of the country's natural beauty. Number 18, peacekeeping missions. Canada has a long history of participating in international peacekeeping missions. The country's commitment to peace and security has been a hallmark of its foreign policy, earning it a reputation as a peace-loving nation. Number 17, the Montreal Protocol. Canada played a key role in the development of the Montreal Protocol in 1987, an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances responsible for ozone depletion. This achievement underscores Canada's commitment to environmental protection and global cooperation. Number 16, the formation of Nunavut. In 1999, Canada officially established Nunavut as its newest territory, recognizing the land claims of the Inuit people and providing them with a degree of self-government. This historic event marked a significant step towards acknowledging and respecting the rights of Indigenous peoples in Canada. Number 15, the Canadarm. The Canadarm, a series of robotic arms developed by Canada for the NASA Space Shuttle program, represents the country's significant contributions to space exploration and technology. This innovation has been crucial in the assembly and maintenance of the International Space Station. Number 14, the Battle of the Atlantic. During World War II, Canada played a critical role in the Battle of the Atlantic, protecting convoys and fighting German U-boats to ensure the safe passage of troops and supplies. This effort was vital to the Allied victory and showcased Canada's naval capabilities. Number 13, the Canadian flag. Adopted in 1965, the Canadian flag, with its distinctive red and white colors and maple leaf emblem, symbolizes the country's identity and values. It represents a break from colonial symbols and a move towards an independent national identity. Number 12, the Dominion of Canada. Established on July 1, 1867, the Dominion of Canada marked the birth of a new nation through the Confederation of Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. This event laid the foundation for the country's expansion and development. Number 11, the Klondike Gold Rush. The Klondike Gold Rush in the late 1890s brought thousands of prospectors to Canada's Yukon Territory, contributing to the region's development and mythology. This period of history captures the adventurous spirit and economic opportunities of the time. Number 10, same-sex marriage legalization. Canada was one of the first countries to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide in 2005. This landmark legislation underscored Canada's commitment to equality, diversity, and the protection of human rights. Number nine, the fur trade. The fur trade was central to Canada's early economy and European settlement. It fostered relationships between European traders and indigenous peoples, although it also led to conflicts and changes in indigenous ways of life. Number eight, the assimilation of indigenous peoples. Canada's history includes efforts to assimilate indigenous peoples, such as the residential school system, which has left a lasting impact on communities. Recognizing and addressing these historical injustices is an ongoing process in Canada. Number seven, the creation of the National Health Service. The establishment of the National Health Service in the 1950s and 1960s transformed healthcare in Canada, making it accessible to all citizens. This system is a model of public healthcare globally. Number six, the Expo 67 World's Fair. Held in Montreal, Expo 67 was a pivotal event that showcased Canada's innovation and culture to the world. It was a symbol of national pride and a significant moment in Canada's 20th century history. Number five, the Constitution Act of 1982. The Constitution Act of 1982, which includes the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, patriated Canada's constitution from the United Kingdom, granting the country full sovereignty. This act is a cornerstone of Canada's legal and political system. Number four, the Quebec referendum of 1995. The Quebec referendum of 1995 was a critical moment in Canadian history when Quebec nearly voted for independence. The narrow victory for the no side preserved Canada's unity but highlighted the ongoing debates about Quebec's place within Canada. Number three, the residential school system. The residential school system, which aimed to assimilate indigenous children into Euro-Canadian culture, is a dark chapter in Canada's history. The legacy of these schools and the harm they caused to indigenous communities are subjects of national reflection and reconciliation. 
Number two, the adoption of the maple leaf flag in 1965. The adoption of the current Canadian flag in 1965, with its iconic red maple leaf, marked a significant step in the development of a distinct Canadian identity, moving away from colonial symbols. Number one, Canada's role in the formation of the United Nations. Canada played a pivotal role in the formation and development of the United Nations, drawing from its experience in international diplomacy and commitment to multilateralism. As one of the original 51 member states, Canada contributed significantly to the drafting of the UN Charter in 1945, advocating for peace, security, and human rights on the global stage. Spearheaded by figures such as Lester B. Pearson, who would later win the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in resolving the Suez Crisis through UN peacekeeping, Canada's involvement in the UN was marked by a strong commitment to peacekeeping operations and the advancement of international law. This commitment underlined Canada's position as a middle power, capable of exerting significant influence on the world stage, particularly in matters of peace and security. Through its active participation in the UN, Canada has continued to support the organization's goals and missions, reinforcing its reputation as a nation deeply invested in the principles of collective security and international cooperation. And there you have it, the 87 most captivating facts about Canada, a treasure trove of insights unveiling a country where vast natural beauty and rich heritage intersect, where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with modern innovation, and where the landscape, from its majestic mountains and serene lakes to its vibrant cities and expansive forests, truly makes it a remarkable and enchanting destination, unlike any other in the world.